Get her pulled up. Yeah, where's <laughs> where's the HDMI cord? It's all down there. I mean, you you set up the uh, the Elgato and shit, oh, right? You're right. This right. is all shit you could have been getting done, but instead you were sitting on your ass eating food like a dumb piece of shit. Are you just gonna leave out the fact that we're even starting late in the first place? Because I was at the gym, Lee. I'm gonna like hot take maybe. Ow. I don't really like Gimli. I'm pretty sure he he's like a fan favorite. I don't, I don't know. He's fine. He's all right, I guess. I mean, like Legolas and Aragorn are like astronomically better in every way. Better written, uh, more charismatic. Wait till you find out that in the Hobbit trilogy, Gimli's dad tells Legolas, "Hey, I have a son. His name is Gimli. You might remember him from the Lord of the Rings movies. You should go be friends with him." And says that to Legolas? He says that to Legolas. Oh, of course they... Okay. And of course it kind of messes with stuff, because like... Because they yeah. don't meet until that. Because they don't meet until that. And also Gimli's like a kid at this point. Well, from what I've... All, just from what I've seen in the Hobbit movies so far, and I've only seen the first and part of the second one, they've already fucked with the original trilogy. The way um, Bilbo ends up with the ring is depicted completely differently than what Fellowship establishes. Fellowship even goes as far as to show you Bilbo get the ring, and you hear, like, Smeagol's cries of of pain as he as his precious is lost. In Fellowship, he's like the regular older Bilbo that you know from that trilogy. And then in uh, The Hobbit, he's just, he's just fucking young Bilbo. Hey guys, Sheev, Sheevas McGee's here. What's wrong with you? I hate you. We're watching Shulk the Fifth. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure, I'm like 98,000% sure Daredevil's in this one. But I said that last week and I was wrong. Only information I'm going off of is that it's apparently confirmed, but I don't know what, like, what the sources are there. This um, is going to be terrible. It is, yeah. Supporters of the Free Titanium Movement are celebrating she yeah. Free Titanium Movement? I've got court documents. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, of course, like a famous influencer gets arrested and there's going to be people rallying behind them, even if they're very clearly in the wrong. Logan Paul noises. Yeah. I have completely detoxed in the week since the last episode, and I have no idea what's happened in the show so far. Having had to edit the last week's episode and watch it over several times, and having watched other people talk about it the last week, I remember, it's all very fresh on my mind. This woman, Titania, has trademarked my name. See, again, and I said this in the last episode, like, she didn't choose the name She-Hulk. It was given to her. So she can't be sued for this. Can I just say I hate the name Ched? Can I just say I hate Ched? This is one of the worst shows I've ever seen in my life. This is the worst show I've seen in my life. So you, you admit that it's worse than Kenobi now? Hmm. Second worst. I know she is... An influencer, and we're and we're going like the privileged angle. But she attempted to murder the entire jury by throwing a desk at them. So like, I no, I'm sorry, she didn't get out of prison. Cody, there was a hashtag free Titania, and I think we both know the judicial system is helpless against hashtags. A judicial system that allows Wong to be represented in court. Yeah, I guess. All right, I can't pretend like I'm here for a friendly visit. I need a favor. I'm attracted to him. You know my face. Cody. <laughs> I got a guy, Alonzo, the drip broker. You can find anything you're looking for fashion-wise. Can this drip broker find someone who could do custom clothing for, say, a superhuman size person? No doubt. You know, a good way to connect this to Daredevil is, like, you could get the guy who makes Daredevil's costume. What's that guy's name? Is it Alonzo? No. Okay, because that's who he's getting. I want to die. This is a boba cafe. I grew up surrounded by cafes. Well, I'm Bush Jing Cha. What is that, Chinese? I'm not Chinese. There's no way she just did that. That probably wasn't even a real language. I feel so If we're going by Moon Knight rules. Nihai, shukoshudo. Oh, nistingla, Jamela. Nistingla. <laughs> you all speak Chinese? Uh, Mandarin. Oh, it's not off. Oh, so like modern MCU. Question. If you're not the guy, then do you know who the guy is? You know, I know he can act. This is an SNL skit. I have seen him in Arrow. He can act. The absolute state of the MCU. This is the least funny comedy I've ever seen in my life. 
And I've seen some pretty unfunny comedies. Yeah, that's the excuse people keep making for this show. And it's like, but if it's a comedy, then we're right? funny. I'm the attorney, you're the client. Because that's the only way this can work. Agreed. Thank God, because she's a terrible attorney. Agreed? We need to show strength, counter Sue, establish you were using the name She-Hulk in a professional capacity before the trademark date, and Titania is profiting off name recognition. That doesn't matter. She coined it. She trademarked it first. Since the first public appearance of Jennifer Walters in her Hulk form, the public has unanimously identified her with the name she that doesn't simply put matter which I just so happen to have a little sample of and offer none of those would have been allowed in the courtroom no, well we I mean someone had fucking smoke bombs in here, here yesterday so who cares is, what my client is trying to say is that Jennifer Walters was not interested in the she Hulk name until it became associated with this incredibly successful line of product which is true Te yeah that's if true so now whether I like it or not I am forever she Hulk my client clearly stated that she is she Hulk that she instance. was stuck with the name. Can you personally that doesn't use the matter. Name? Can you prove a, a pattern of Miss Walter's personal use of the name? Yes, you can yes. on the dating profile. This is a waste of my time and my talents. Please get out. My favorite character. Jen? Does anyone? Eat? Oh no! Oh no! Oh, the no. Went on with the guy. I told you. you We're doing the dating app. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Yeah, and he for sure is telling all his friends like, "Yo, bro, went on a date with She-Hulk." Mm. Oh my god, he went on a date with She-Hulk. Yeah. They hadn't even I made a realized so that? As she -Hulk. And when really? I you put that together in like two seconds. The second the judge said a pattern of using the name, I was like, yeah, the dating app. From yeah. the last episode! Uh, I'm surprised they even remember that though, to be honest. Just because it was in the previous episode doesn't mean it's actually canon to the show. Uh, so. Titania and her subsidiaries will cease usage of the She-Hulk name effective immediately. This isn't over, hater. I can't believe that was just said. There's something between them. There's, uh, he'll be back. He's just Thank into nine foot tall women. <laughs> I have a David and Goliath kink. Whoa, what are you implying? <laughs> that I'm David? Yes, still, what are you implying? <laughs> Hello, this should be left out in the open. <sighs> Tinsley, does client confidentiality mean nothing to you? I don't like that cowl. That was one of the more tame episodes, at least. Like, it was. It wasn't terrible. Well... It was pretty terrible. It was terrible. It wasn't atrocious. At this point, that's where the bar is at. Yes. Also, okay, I have not seen the Netflix show. So, was that the Netflix theme? Was that his theme for the I show? I couldn't really hear it. I'll have to, like, play it over to make sure. She-Hulk once again makes me... Yearn for the days of Yoshi. I yearn for the days of Multiverse of Madness. Oh, here we go. Oh. oh. Huh. Well, so much for a post credit scene every episode. Huh. Well, 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 what do you it's, think about that? It's over. It's over. Go, go home. home. <laughs> I, I mean, all right. That's, I mean, okay. That happened. Thanks. I don't really have that much to say about this episode, because no nothing really happened. Ask me how much I care about this show. How much do you care about this show? Thank you guys so much for tuning in for another episode of Sheev Talks About She-Hulk. I'm not Sheev, but that is. I'm Logan Kelly, sub. I love you guys. I'll see you next week. All that for a drop of subs. <laughs> 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 I know what it's like to subscribe. <laughs>